Bonjour mon ami! We're back in France. We're in Nice. We spent a few days just lying on the beach. I got terribly sunburned. <laughs> um, and just really soaking in the little town we're staying in. It's called Villafranche. It's right next to Nice. But today we're actually in Nice. We're coming to the town. So we're going to show you a few things we found. The first being this chickpea pancake. It's like a savory pancake that you have with pepper. It's delicious. Apparently it's a special cuisine that you can get here. I'm good. <laughs> in the last week which I really don't want to forget and that's why I'm filming this the lesson is to think less and feel more um, today I got the opportunity to have lunch with a role model of mine her name is Erin Motz uh, she's a co-founder of Bad Yogi you should check out her YouTube channel um, by implementing this new lesson I was able to tune into what it would feel like to have lunch um, as opposed to overthinking it and thinking she would probably want to have lunch with her friends, not a stranger from the street. And she probably is too busy and all of those things that go on. I just forgot about all of that and I focused on how would it feel. And that was, it could be inspiring. I could learn a lot from the occasion. I could feel really good just from connecting with someone who speaks English. So <laughs> I put it out there and the opportunity came about. While we were having lunch, the lesson also proved true because um, instead of like overthinking what should we talk about and, and having a really contrived conversation, I felt it was more important to just enjoy the moment. And so I really focused on listening and adding my thoughts as I was thinking them to the conversation. And what that did was it meant that one, I wasn't scared of embarrassing myself like I would have been in the past. And two, it deepened the conversation. So 
by all of us sort of being our genuine selves, we were able to connect more authentically and have a better conversation because it wasn't this shallow, contrived topic that we were talking about. So it's so important to just not try and work out what they would be thinking and how they would be feeling, but just let all of those thoughts go and focus on how, how it would feel. So that's my takeaway. Think less, feel more. Look at this. What is going on here? Okay, so we're about to go to lunch. It's our favorite restaurant in Nice. It's called Kaju, and it's run by this married couple who we met on our first time there um, because they came out and they chatted with us for about an hour or so. Um, and they're just really lovely people, really like internationally minded people. They travel the world, they set up businesses for six months and then take a few months travel and then set up a new passion project. Um, so. We're going to show you, hopefully this time, the food we get there because it's so good. Songs about the future. Okay, so Kaju wasn't open today because it's Monday. So we went and had pizza and it was the best pizza we've had this whole trip. And now we're having some sorbet. I got apricot, um, cactus. cactus. And what was it? Guava. Guava, because it's my favorite. <laughs> and melon's my favorite, but guava today. Okay, so this is Mitch's first taste of cactus sorbet. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really liked it too. I don't know how to describe that. It must be. I think it tasted like vanilla and sort of aloe vera. Mm hmm. Yeah. But sweet. It's really sweet. It's beautiful. You left 